What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today it's pretty nice out today, I gotta say. Clear skies. Um it's a good thing because tomorrow is import face-off. And in other words, what that means is I'm gonna start prepping the car to take it over to ACO tomorrow at Import Faceoff. So like I said in my previous video, I was gonna leave the um, ride height adjustment and brake installation for another video, which is this video. So let's get started. All right, so yeah, now that I have the car angled in the garage, I should have much more room to work with on either side. So let's get the car on jack stands and start removing the wheels. And I am going to start by, I'm gonna start by installing the front rotors and pads. Then I'm gonna move on to the rears. Once I'm finished with the brake setup, I will start by uh, adjusting the ride height. Now from what I've known previously on jacking this car up, I highly doubt that there is a preload on the uh, springs. So once I get the brake set up all finished and uh, installed, I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna uh, search online, do some research on the uh, spring setup. I'm sorry, on the preload for the springs. So, yeah, let's start by getting the car up on jack stands. Let's go. All right guys, as you can see, I just got the car up on four, on all four jack stands. Uh, I also went ahead and removed all four wheels as well. Now it's time to start removing these stock brake rotors and pads and get the uh, street kit I guess you can call it installed. So before, before and after. So there it is. I just completed the front uh, pads and rotors. Now I'm gonna start moving on to the rear pads so there it is guys I gotta say it looks it looks pretty nice gives it that extra I guess street car look all right so now that we have the front street rotors and pads installed let's move on to the rear No, that's not good. Um, from what I know, there, there's supposed to be a preload on the spring. And yeah, look at that. Also, the way this coilover works, the, when you lower it from this collar right here, it's gonna minimize the amount of shock travel. So definitely don't want that. Uh, I'm gonna raise this up, set some of that preload onto the spring and start adjusting the right height from there. So let me get these rear pads installed and check back in when it's time to set the right height. So, so far so good. Let's just keep going. All right guys, so looks like we're gonna have to cut this rear uh, pad swap out short. Turns out that in order for me to get 
this caliper up because usually with the front brake caliper all you would have to do is just remove one of the lower bolts or the upper bolts and then swing this caliper up but I just realized that this brake caliper the rear brake caliper is also has the uh, emergency brake I don't know what the fuck it's called but it's attached to this to the emergency brake lever and in order for me to get this caliper out it's not gonna swing up so I would have to get it out in order for me to get it out I would have to remove all this and really don't have no time well I don't have I'm running short on time so I'm gonna cut this short I'm just gonna adjust the right height set some preload on the spring install the wheels and head over to the alignment rack so uh, so let's start adjusting the ride height and head over to the alignment rack let's go all right guys so i went ahead and adjusted the two rears and the driver's side uh coilover now i just want to give you guys a quick rundown as to what i am what exactly i am doing as far as setting the preload on a spring. Now for this in particular coilover set with an Allen key, which you could use to tighten and loosen this collar right here, this locking collar, which adjusts the ride height. So it looks something like that. Loosen it. Give another turn. Now there you go. Now it's all loosened up. Now I could adjust the preload on the spring. So the way you adjust the preload on the spring is you wanna tighten up this locking collar all the way up, up until, all the way up until you cannot turn the locking collar anymore. And then once you turn it all the way up, Usually there's another locking collar right here and then you would use the key that they use which is exactly four, four millimeters. Um, so yeah, you would tighten this all the way up so you can't no more with your hand. And with the key, you would hold the bottom locking collar and tighten. And with the other, you would tighten this, the upper locking collar until you have four millimeter spaces in between the two collars. Once you have four millimeter space in between the two collar, you would then tighten up the lower collar and that's pretty much setting your preload. But since I do not, I only have one locking collar, I'm just gonna tighten, I'm just gonna turn it all the way up till it's hand tight and I can't turn it no more. And we'll go from there, so show you guys how it's looking uh, like I said I adjusted all three the two rears and the front driver now the only only one left is the passenger side so let me adjust this spring preload and show you guys how we're looking all right guys so I got all four wheels installed right height spring preload adjusted now it's time to get the car on the ground and see how this right height is looking so let's start by jacking this front the front up I mean sorry start by jacking this the rear of the car up in order to get this rear set of jack stands out out from under the car so all right let's see For the rear, for the front, 
hopefully this rear settles down a little bit but let's see I have a feeling that we're going to be monster drunk in it. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Can you look at that? Not bad. Wow. I'm actually digging that. Fuck yeah. So, there it is. Um, mine's might have to do some more adjusting towards the uh as far as the ride height but let me pull it out over here in the sun to see how it's looking So there it is. Alright guys, so now that I have the right height and wheel set up, and brake setup installed. Time to start heading over to the alignment shop and get this bad boy aligned. So, Echo and Port Face Off, here we come. All right guys, so after hours of looking for an alignment shop that is still open and not busy and are willing to take me last minute, um, I finally found one in Bayonne and they're gonna get me the car aligned. And should be good for tomorrow, so that's it. That's pretty much a wrap for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And as for the um, as for the giveaway, I will be announcing a winner April 1st. So if you guys want to enter a chance to win a free NRG quick release and steering wheel, be sure to comment down below I won and hit the subscribe button in order for you in order for you to enter your chance to win. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me give you guys another quick walk around of the car and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So let me just give you a quick walk around. All right, here it is. There you go, there you guys have it. That's pretty much it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, peace out.